Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Charlene and Marie. This is Charlene and Marie Lifestyle. So today we're going to have a wonderful video. We're going to be talking about my sunroom. I'm so excited. And so initially it was just going to be one long video and I was going to just do the final reveal however some of the some of the items did not arrive timely so instead of keeping my um, YouTube family waiting I decided to do a part two which this is an update on my sunroom but I still feel that there have been significant changes in this area and so we will do the final reveal um, of my sunroom in about two weeks and I want you to notice there will be a huge difference between part one, the update, which is today, part two, and part three. So, um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, let's get started. And so I'm beginning to move all of my furniture off of the red rug so I can remove the rug from the room. And so I'm just um, really figuring out what's going where at this point. But it has been very hot in Detroit. So I have chosen a cooler day to begin this process. And I'm in a really good mood because I love to transform spaces in my home. And so, just watch me work. So I have one of my OG's Sprayway glass cleaner and I'm cleaning off the glass on top of this table because um, I just wanna give everything a good cleaning while I'm transforming the space. And if you haven't tried the Sprayway glass cleaner, it will really save you a ton of work. You don't have to go over spaces a million times to get them squeaky clean. Also, I'm just getting this table out of the way so I can get this rug. You guys, that stool is from one of my favorite stores, which is Home Goods. And I did not know that this rug was this heavy. I just don't recall it being that heavy when I placed it down. If you hear any noise in the background while I'm doing this voiceover, that's my German Shepherd Knight. He is never quiet, by the way. I was laughing so hard when I watched this part of the video. This rug was definitely a task, but I'm just moving the furniture around, working around the rug. I did not take the furniture off of the patio because Knight was actually outside the other doors waiting to come in and um, harass me <laughs> while I was trying to do this um, partial makeover so that's why I just left the stuff actually inside of the room while I was just um, getting everything rearranged so I finally got the rug up and I'm moving this rug out and I'm getting ready to move the new rug in and I feel so accomplished just by doing this one thing. It's funny how sometimes it can take you a minute to do something and then you start to feel accomplished once you do just one thing. And so here you hear me saying I'm tired because that rug was uh, something else to deal with. Here I have my Dyson vacuum and I'm just getting everything nice and clean. Just, um, vacuuming the old leaves from the mums that I had out in this space during the fall winter and so I'm just sprucing up as I am transforming this space. Now 
now I'm beginning to lay out my summer rug and I love this rug it's just um it, it just represents calm to me I like the neutral colors the flower like pattern and I like how subtle the rug is um, I bought this rug I believe last year um, I'm going to link things in my final video so I don't want to say where I got it from because I don't recall I would have to actually research where I got this rug from but it's bomb and it's very soft and it's an indoor outdoor rug and I appreciate that because some indoor outdoor rugs can be um, a little hard on your feet and I have one of my favorite sprays resolve I don't know what got on this carpet had to, or this rug it had to be last year but no worries it right wiped right out that's one of the things that I enjoy about indoor outdoor rugs I have my handy dandy Dyson that thing is awesome this is why I own two Dyson vacuums because I like how you just need one device and it can get it all done and I, I don't believe anything suctions like a Dyson it's great for pet hair, furniture, everything. I just love it. And so it is pricey. This vacuum is really well worth the splurge in my opinion. I do not regret it. And it has a very good warranty. I'm moving this table back in its place. And here we go. My side table from Wayfair. If you have not watched my way my actual last summer room video and I talked about that side table you need to watch that video because that table is absolutely awesome and I'm just placing things back on the table if you guys have not subscribed to my youtube channel yet please do there will be so much home decor rearranging things a lot of education about home decor just from my perspective and also beauty fashion just everything just elevating yourself and um, also just a place a happy place where we just talk about positive things because we know that there's enough negativity in this world and so if you're interested in this type of content all things lifestyle make sure to hit that subscribe button also um, if you enjoy my videos I would like you to give my video a thumbs up it helps YouTube to know that you're enjoying my content and it also helps me to know that this is content that you're continuing to enjoy and it notifies YouTube to continue to push my um, videos out to other um, YouTubers and so, um, and other, you know, potential subscribers. And so here I'm just putting everything back in its place and um, rearranging some things. And once again, I'm gonna repeat this. This is just a part two video. There will be a part three. Do you guys see my dog Knight out there? He's looking in here trying to figure out what am I doing in my sunroom. He's absolutely hilarious. And so I'm just, um, you know, just working. It's just work in a good way. Um, because when I'm rearranging a space, it's very soothing for me. I can't wait till you guys see the result of this video there is a clear contrast I want you guys to see the reveal or the partial reveal of my sunroom we're definitely not done but I just didn't want to continue to keep you guys waiting on how this area has came a long way from the last time you saw it so I want to start over here by this door area. A, I still have some things I need to move out of here that I haven't moved out of here. But in this drawer here, I, I actually decided to move my table over here. And 
I'm going to paint it black. I just didn't have time now. But hopefully before the summer is over, I paint this black. I like to keep my like gardening stuff and you know things I use for the yard in my sunroom in here. Little vase. And these flowers or this these roses I should say is actually is actually from my rose bush outside. <clears throat> so they're real. So I'm not actually going to go through the whole room. I just kind of wanted to let you guys see what we're looking like thus far. I'm actually waiting on a um, new table via Wayfair. Shout out to them. And look at these pretty roses here. So pretty. Courtesy of my yard. And so a little hack is if you cut any roses out of your yard, all you have to do is put like a glass of water. I put a glass of water inside of this here vase and set the roses down there. So therefore, um, when the flowers um, are dying or they die, I can just take the glass of water out and I don't have to worry about drying out, cleaning out my whole vase. I'm going to put a candle in there, if it even stays there. But this is what this side of the room is looking like. Don't mind my pillow and everything because you know, your girl likes to sit out here. I actually haven't removed the tags of some of the, um, the greenery out here because this is actually a, um, what do you call this thingy? A herb it is basil it smells so good it smells so earthy and basil-y if that is even a word <laughs> when you come out here it just has a slight fragrance of freshness and I like that and so um, that is a sweet green pepper tree over there in the corner and um, I'll get into everything a little later but I just wanted to give you guys a sunroom update because it's been some time and since I recorded the first um, sunroom um, vlog and so I wanted to give you an update because I just didn't want to wait too much longer because we'll be in the middle of June soon and I'm waiting on my actual new table. Now. I So the new picture that I purchased is actually white I will tell you that and it's very minimal and I love it and just look at this space it just seems so tropical it just represents calm to me and that's what I wanted it to just be I just wanted it to be very um, calm peaceful with a lot of greenery because you already know I love greenery. I don't know what actually what I'm going to actually do with the branch over here. I need to find a solution to make sure that the branches in this huge vase stay alive. But to be continued, I love the greenery against the white brick. It's just everything with the black and the browns. I'm just here for it and just imagine once that white painting arrives it's just going to give this space a new element also one of the footstools will be gone actually a few things in this space will be gone I cannot wait for you to see my new table I will give you a hint on that as well it will be all glass and so I just can't wait for you to see how just making a few tweaks can really um, elevate something, just change the total appearance. And sometimes things can look good in a, in a sense, but glass always elevates. It um, also makes a space appears to be bigger. But we'll get into that in my third video. But as you can see, my favorite spot is all nice and clean. And just look at the greenery. It just looks so beautiful. 
So I really hope you guys have been enjoying um, this video. I really enjoyed um, making this video. Remember, if you are not satisfied as to how a particular space looks, you can always just switch things around. Just, you know, putting in a little bit of sweat uh, equity is what I like to call it. It will really um, change some things. This little corner over here is one of my favorites at the moment. I just love the colors, the cream brick, the greenery from the branches, the black, the brown. It just looks so luxurious to me and I'm definitely here for it. Always remember, when decorating a space, it takes time. You never know when things are going to get delivered. You may have to switch things around, but such is life. So, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video once again. Welcome to Charlene and Marie Lifestyle. See you next week. Bye.